Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil HD with MyoXFu and well, special treat for you guys. This is going to be well, it's not going to be your last episode, but this is my last recording session of this game. That's right. I've left everything for on the moon for this recording session. So let's get right to it. Oh, sorry. It's been a while since I've played this game still, so gotta get used to the <laughs> controls all over again. Oh, this is gonna be for some hilarious fail if it keeps going th like this. Unfortunately, I tried getting my friend Rich the Gamer, my very first subscriber, and the guy who's probably watched all these videos, besides from my girlfriend to join us today, but he couldn't, he, he, he's going up to, he went up to, what's it called, what's it called, um, controls, he went up to Martha's Vineyard, so, can't really help that, well anyway, ready guys, this is what we've been waiting for, fly me to the moon, and let me dance among the stars, let me know How do what you love is dipper? like. All there? We're, we're surrounded by stars, Double H. We are surrounded by stars. And guess what, guys? This is our very last animal that we have to take a picture of right here. I believe we have to shoot the ice off of him. Hey, the stellar water is backfiring. Oh. Almost new, he said. Right. Come on. There we go. Come on, one more section left on him. We can do this. There we go. Great blue. Megaptera and Aruvia. Transmission received. I'll file it right away. And that's it, guys. That is every single animal on Hillis. Okay, Hillis. your roll of film is finished. And we get an M-Disc. Well Thanks to you, the species inventory is now complete. And I guess this just shows us all the pictures we've taken. We'll take a look at it later. We've got one disc left. Oh, it was an iris disc. It looks like... Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it must be an iris disc. Oh well. We missed one thing. Not that big of a deal. Now where's that moon? Right there. Has to hold out till we get to the moon. Oh, <laughs> depends on it, Miss Jane. Thought something was shooting me for a second. Anyway, where was I? Let me know what love is like on Jupiter in Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me. And this is it, guys. Lunar base in sight, Mr. The face on Mars! Well, guys, if you've seen the, the posters for the new movie, Apollo 18, then this is what we're, we've are we been waiting the for. Transmitter. That's where we need to try to get in. <laughs> Maneuver not allowed. All right. Collision risk high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't... Oh, I hit X, that's why. Anyway, I guess we have to dock here. Aha! There we go. Okay. That works for me. But what's going to happen with this is I'm not going to break this up into little 15 minute segments with Hello again and welcome back to... No, I'm just going to break this up um, as close as I can to 15 minutes, but I'm going to put it where it seems most fit. Oh, hey. Don't know what that did, but it might be important. Shawnee, I've located the probable positions of the Alpha's activities. I've added them. All right, we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Anyway, let's go right up here first of all. And I think, yep, okay. It's all coming back to me now. Can't remember why we need to go up here first, but you know what? Looks like a good idea. All right, now what? Oh, I see what we have to do. Okay, so we screwed that one up. 
Hit that again, Double H. What we need to do... Is we need to... Oh, I see. Aha! Uh -huh. Need to... No. We need to... Shoot this guy over here. I'll bring that up there. <laughs> Don't know why my voice cracked right there. That'll bring that up there. Oh, can we go back here? <gasps> we can. But you know what? I'm gonna wait until we got we, we've got some some action under our belt to go that way. Just because it seems wiser to go the puzzle route first. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Hey, we can use our units before we go up that way and get a PA one, which is gonna be very important. Because, well, I'm not going to tell you, because, well, it's not important now. We're, we're at, almost at the end of the game. We got a, we got a couple fights coming up. <laughs> Let's just say that. Oh my god, I am, I am absolutely terrified right now, because I, I'm terrified for my recording, because I want to make sure that I do this game absolute justice, but I'm terrified also, because I have no idea. How well this, how well this, <laughs> the game play is gonna be on my end? Because it's been so long since I played this part of the game. All right, now I don't have much to worry about since I know it's not that big of a deal. All right, so we're gonna jump up there. Oh yeah, I forgot you actually use the beluga as um, platforming. Okay, that's right. So a little bit of trick here. Shoot and then go. Aha! There we go. Works for me. And... Oh, we have to have... What? What? We have to have three people over here. Oh well, at least we can take this down now. We have to have three, three things holding those buttons down, I guess, to get past that door. But where are we gonna get a third person? Huh. Beats me, guys. Oh well. Oh, we figured out that puzzle, so let's let's go up let's go up top now. To the moon! Oh wait, we're already on the moon. Actually, we are going to the moon because right now we're only in a transmitter on floating above the Dom's base, aren't we? Dom's oh architecture. yes. Right in the heart of the base, so I'm actually a big fan of this part of the. I'm actually a big fan of this part of the um, moon, just because they bring in a bunch of puzzles that they didn't have anywhere else. But I, I, I'm a real big fan of puzzles, so it's cool for me. What is this? A mirror. Wherever would we be able to put that? I bet we wouldn't be able to put it here. Actually, we're able to put it there completely. Alright, so, first things first. Let's rotate this bad boy to hit that mirror. Bam. Second thing second. Before we move on, let's hit that mirror back the way we came from. And... Bam. So, funny thing about this. I'm recording this today on... August 15th. I believe the first time I uploaded a video for Beyond Good and Evil was March 14th. And I think we just got another mirror. That's just a huge coincidence, because I didn't expect Beyond Good and Evil to take this as long as it did. I expected it to be a game that would be over maybe in a couple of months. Not almost, <laughs> not just over five months like it is like it's turning out to be. But you know what? I kind of like it. Because in that time I was able to grow quite a lot as a Let's Player. I mean, I'm no longer the nervous heap of nerves, <laughs> nervous heap of nerves that I was when I started out with Jet Set Radio Future. And to me, that's that's something to be proud of. And I am proud of it. That's, that's the other thing. I am proud that I've grown quite a lot as a Let's Player. Awesome, we get some units that are completely useless at this point. Oh well, I, could, I don't have anything to complain about. It's something to keep me from getting sentimental until the end of the video. <laughs> uh, 
Oh. Goodness. Anyway. That looks like a mirror over there, so let's just point it down that way. Surprised we haven't run into any enemies yet. Thought we were bound to at some point. Since, you know, we're on the moon. We're whalers on the moon. We carry a harpoon. But I already quoted this song, so I shouldn't quote it again soon. And... Oh yeah, in case you haven't noticed, you have to hit these pillars with your discs in order to make them swivel and reflect. And solve the puzzle. <laughs> oh gosh, the cloister. All I can think of right now is the word oyster. Psst. Oh, oh, you know what, you know what, you know what? We did that puzzle wrong. Because we're actually supposed to have a light beam coming out with us. And, you know what, I could keep going and just show you guys what's going on. But it's a little bit easier to just change it now while we're ahead. Oh, wait, we had it. There you go. Because it makes that nice chiming noise when you hit it, so you know when... Well, when you've hit it. I mean, I really like this because it reminds me of the uh, Stone Temple and all that jazz from Majora's Mask. And really, the the mirror shield puzzles in that are some of my favorite of any Zelda game, so... It's nice. They do such a great job with this atmosphere, too. Look, it's LS! Oh, come on, it doesn't come up on our... Everything else comes up on our camera. I mean, I can look up there and see. Oh, I guess I can. I guess that's only on Hillis. Um, oh my goodness. They do such a great job with the artwork out here, though. It's too quiet around here. Someone is watching us. Damn right, yeah, Double H. I feel it too. They're all around us. They're waiting for us. And that is the creepiest part of this mission, because we have yet to run into a single... A single dawns. Look at that, look at that. You see the you see that there's artwork for craters there, but that doesn't even look 2D until you look at it close. That all out there, I'm pretty sure, is mostly artwork. But it doesn't even look 2D. That's phenomenal. Alright, so what do we have here? Another puzzle? <gasps> Page! It's unbelievable. Hanging we finally down. found him again. Oh, um, Paige, Paige, can you hear me? It's me, Jane. I'm trying to remember how we have to do this. All right, so the first one on the outside is just a hexagon, because you'll see that we have to actually hit all these barriers around, to, and the, those will bring down the wall. It's going to get very interesting in a second, and I love the way that they use this light puzzle, because even though it only comes up in this part of the game, they do use it quite a lot. They don't just they they don't just throw it in as a one. Well, they do throw it in a, as a one-time thing, but they don't treat it like a one-time thing. It's not treated. It's not only used for one puzzle. It's used for a couple of puzzles, and I really like that. Anyway, next next part of the puzzle is that we have to hit all these purple bits, which is very easy, just by turning the the source pillar. <laughs> Here I am getting mixed up with words. And you just keep turning it, and voila! It's so simple. But if you didn't think about it, you'd screw everything up. So let's get Paige out of here, finally! Yes, sir. Good thing we brought you, Double H. I'm just gonna take a sip while this cutscene happens. late? No. I'll come back for you. I'll bring you back home.
There's no way they're getting away with this now. We can still save the other victims, Jade. We have to wrap up the report. We will. We will. No, I'm not really hungry right now. No, no, I wasn't... Jade, I wasn't trying to get you to eat something. I was trying to get through the door. So we can take our vengeance among, upon the monsters who did that to our uncle, our, the only father we've ever known. Oh god. I can't believe we're too late. Don't be joking on me, game now. Don't be joking. <gasps> You're alive, Paige. Don't drop me. Don't drop me. <laughs> Very sneaky, the whole code under the shoe bit. You found them? You didn't screw up my settings, I hope. They're exactly as I found them. Stench and all. Paige, I... You were... Dead, I know. But you saved me. You're the one that brought me back to life. You're not the one you think you are, Jade. There's always been a prodigious energy hidden deep inside you. Now it's coming to the surface, and you're starting to understand it. Paige, the kids, they... Yes, I know. Kidnapped too. They've taken them to the Great Crypt. The only way to get there is by using the landing strip. We'll have to come back in the ship, but we can't do anything for them right now. There's too few of us. We need help in order to attack the lunar base in full force. The only way of obtaining the support of the Hillians is to follow Nino's plan, wrap up the report, and use the long-range transmitter to broadcast it. Okay, let's get a move on. Well, guys, after this tearful reunion, let's just see what everybody has to say. Kids, it must be close by. We, can tr we can't try any further thing for the time being, Jay. Double H is right. We have to follow the plan. Otherwise, we'll screw everything up. First, find the Dom's priest to wrap up, wrap up the report. Safe and sound in its shell. Precious pearl is slave to the cu currents. Blah, blah, blah. He's slave to the currents. See, the, the guy... The guy down in the pedestrian sector thought it was a spoonerism, so what did he think it was? The precious pearl is the cave of the slurrents? Anyway, you never said a word to us about it. I was afraid for you. Afraid of what? You, you're not like the others, Jade. Right? And we're getting closer. We must find the great crypt, Miss Jade. That must might be where the prisoners are being held, and doubtless where we can find the Dom's priests to wrap up your report. All right. So after that bombshell of a of a um, of a story reveal, I am going to see you guys next time on Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil HD with Miyoxfu. And next time we are going to wrap up our, our report and get ready to kick some Dom's ass. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>